Okay, this is a screencast for students to show you how to create your own collaborative learning spaces in Ultranet. So the first thing you need to do is log into Ultranet and then on your homepage, if you've got a background with big buttons, then one of those buttons will be the collaborative learning button and you would travel up to the top and click on that button. If you don't have big buttons at the top, then you'll find the collaborative learning icon at the bottom on the global navigation bar and it's these two blue people here so click on that one and it will take us to the collaborative learning homepage or landing page and on this page we see that there's a green button that says add collaborative learning space so we click on that one and a dialog box will appear where we can add the title of our space a description of our space and save our space so what we need to do is decide on our title and we have to remember that we can only put in two pieces of punctuation. We can put in a hyphen and we can put in a comma. So let's start by putting our name in the title so that our teacher knows whose space it is. And then we'll put in a comma and then we need to put our grade so that it's easy for them to find our space. So we have to be careful about that punctuation. I'm going to write 5, 6K and then another comma and then we put the topic that our space is going to be investigating. So in this case I'm going to be creating a space about natural disasters so I would write natural disasters as my topic but you might have a different topic that you need to write up there. In the next box we put a little description so I'm going to write um, this is my space for learning about natural disasters and that's all we need to write we don't have to write a lot there now we need to go down to the next button and that says access or who can go into our spaces and if it's private well nobody can go into our spaces so we need to make it restricted so that our teachers can join our spaces and perhaps some of our classmates can join our spaces as well so we make that restricted and then we need to go down to add a tag or a keyword that would help people to search for our space. So the keyword for this would be our topic and that would be natural disaster so I'm going to copy that from there. So I'll just do a quick copy and then paste it in that line there and then we can click on the save button. So now our new collaborative learning space is being created and if we go up to the top we can see a little tick just here that says our request has been processed successfully or our space has been created but at the moment we can't see it in our list of collaborative learning spaces because what we have to do is click on this grey button at the top that says collaborative learning spaces I own because we are the owners of that space we just created. So there's that space, there's the title of the space that I created, here's that restricted access, here's my little description and it tells me that I'm the only member of that space. But over here it says that it's not active yet and it's not active because we have to ask for a teacher to moderate our space. So we have to choose a moderator and that teacher will approve our space and say yes it's okay for that space to be created and then when they approve it our space will become active and we can do some work on it. So to go and request a moderator we need to go to the actions button over here and then drag all the way up to request moderator and then we have to search for our teacher and we could type our teacher's name in here and then search for them or if we have a few teachers that we would like to be moderators we might click on the search button and that will bring up all of the teachers in our school and we will find the teacher that we would like to be the moderator of our space. So there are 43 options here, so I'm going to show all 43 people on the one page. So I'm going to drag down to 50 over here in items per page, and that will show me all of the people in the one list. And allow me to drag down and choose a teacher. So I'm looking for the teacher called O Teacher. There they are. That's my teacher, so I'll put a tick in that box. And then I need to scroll up to the top and request moderator. So when I click on that request moderator button, 
Again, it says that my request has been processed. So an email has gone to my teacher or a request on the alternate homepage for them to be a moderator of MySpace. And when they approve that, MySpace will become available for me to do some work in. So that's how you create a space and request a moderator.